Hey everyone, it's me Gavin Vengeance and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be checking out the version 6.2 Hyperion Lounge which should contain the trailer for the Chrono and the Hare which I believe is going to showcase our brand new SP battle suit who happens to be... I chan I know, right? It's crazy. But anyways, I did very much appreciate the little story snippet that we got with her prior to the announcement of this version update. Uh, I don't really know any of the details surrounding this battle suit, though. The only thing that I do know, however, is that she is just an SP battle suit. I'm wondering what kind of element she is and what kind of role she's going to have to play in combat. So I'm very much looking forward to checking this out. Now, without further ado, let's dive into it. <laughs> Two opposite definitions? Oh shit! The Hersher finality! She looks so damn cool! Everything is gonna get revealed! Dude, I'm so happy the team is back together for this chapter! Oh, it's been so much of a great build-up that I can't wait to see the final payoff. Ai-chan, looking badass! My god, she looks sick! Oh, yes! Oh my god! She's a chakra user. That's interesting. Dude, she looks incredible. What an absolute banger! Hell yes! Hoyo Mix delivering yet again. Holy shit! What the hell is gonna happen with Hello, Bronya? Hi everyone! Huh? You look like you're in a good mood. Of course, Kiana and I'm worried. Union in version 6.1 was absolutely fantastic. Agreed. It has made me so happy. I can't wait to see what'll happen next. Same. <laughs> Since you're so excited to get started, let's talk about the main story first. Perfect. I'm really digging the During whole like delving into the bubble story, universes and, and speaking with like Dr. May and Prometheus stigma. and all the awesome Kiana, characters that May, we got to see. Bronya, the chance for a long awaited reunion. With a certain somebody the at the very end that I won't spoil. And the others, they worked hand in hand to take on new Really took me by surprise when I was playing through that. Lots of characters made appearances as well, like Prometheus and the mysterious hare, Miss Down Shariak, who debuted in the version trailer. Well, I guess they'll spoil so it for you. But anyways, as reward, incredible, incredible reveal. Story. Can't wait to learn more. Story chapter 33 will be called In the Name of the Truth. Okay. The story will unfold around the Hersher of Reason and Hair, and we might even get to see an exciting duel between the two. Oh, damn. Okay, okay. I am all for this. The nature of Honkai and Project Stigma will gradually be revealed. More Perfect. Story will be available for captains to check out later. Yes. I can't wait to play the new version. As the story progresses, I'm so happy that we're going to get another chapter based around Bronya. Final crater area. A new Final map? crater. That's great. Are there any new game modes for the story chapter? In version 6.1, I really got lost in the mining feature, and it was super fun. <laughs> It, it was all right. Um, <laughs> plenty of new modes. Very, to very the easy. The <laughs> remains of the old world will be released in story chapter 33, and you'll need to complete specific side missions to unlock it. Okay. You can check final crater artifact points via the artifact collection system and collect artifact shards at the artifact points. After collecting a certain number of shards, you can piece them into a complete artifact and receive corresponding rewards. In All right. Final crater. Seems you'll simple also enough. Be able to take on the new challenge mode, Iron Mirage, where you'll play as Mark II and explore mysterious facilities left behind by an unknown civilization. The ruins this is are different. Intricate, and you'll find yourself avoiding dangerous electromagnetic fields and collecting mysterious shards as you go. You'll also have to correctly activate oh. certain mechanisms, <laughs> to death paths, and reach your goal. Of course, with the new area in game mode. Come new rewards. I'm down. After it looks fun. Six point two update. The solium storage score milestone rewards will increase. In core refinement, collect a certain number of solium cores to exchange for more rewards. All right. A 
along with the main story event? Dude, she looks so cool. Version, right? That's right. The new SP so she's going to be Mecha Fire. All right. So we have a new alternative to uh, Rita. The once cabbage-headed Aichen I knew has suddenly grown up. Looking stunning and graceful. Yeah, she looks incredible. I'm really <laughs> digging like her design. Fan. I'm very, so like, very taken back by the fact that like I chance no actually going to be a playable Valkyrie Bonnie now Hattie, though. I, Hyperion Lander, was not expecting that. Melee fighter dealing fire damage. She serves as a chakra wielding support that battles. But I'm loving her design. Fighting buffs to teammates. I think she's going to be a must-have. I to hurl the chakra like a boomerang and continuously hit enemies. I is so agile Those animations are so and damn clean. Looks like throwing the chakram as much as possible is key. That's absolutely She's very correct. acrobatic. While in battle, she can cast her weapon skill to release a secondary chakram weapon, Imer. That is so sick. Hitting Imer with a basic attack or evasion will deflect it, sending it back for continuous attacks. I can also recover kinetic energy. So was she going to be like to teammates? As you deflect the weapon really back, good for building SP back, I wonder? Clash, or is she just going to be like more of a DPS type effects. unit? That's so cool. When triggering her QTE or using kinetic energy to cast a charged attack, I will throw three chakrams in quick succession. That's a lot of uh, chakrams going around, so I'm guessing she's probably going to be more of a DPS type damage. unit. If she casts her ultimate Dude, now, she's so fast. And greatly enhance her chakram. Extending her attack momentum and buff up teammates who are deployed afterward. Hell yes, wow. that is so Seems good. Like the general purpose super AI is good at fighting and giving support. Aside from Chrono Navi, but what's she gonna weapon, buff? Is she gonna buff like Breach or is it just gonna be straight up damage? Pry form, Rudder and Dream, Lambda One. These two weapons fit I perfectly due to their mechanical feel. Plus the additional touches resembling a play button and barcodes. The Priform Rudder and Dream Lambda One has such a feeling of elegance. And yeah, I'm liking the design. Cool effects, like Gotta planes. say the prior arm so looks uh, pretty missing. damn sick. And Not gonna the lie. Pull together with the weapons is the new stigma set. Wow, the stigma set looks like a lot of fun. <laughs> when did Cabbage Head become such a comedian? Oh, shit, those gotta be <laughs> the peak animations for any stigmata. Mess. Holy shit, dude! Those are incredible. Ice release in the new version will also launch a featured event closely associated salvation with Salvation Log. The Honkai Salvation Log. Huh? Sounds like things are going to get intense. What's gonna happen? No need to worry. In this event, you'll travel in the digital space with I Hyperion Lambda, or as she calls herself, Miss Administrator. Makes sense. Together. You'll seek the mastermind behind the crisis and fix in-game bugs in Honkai Impact 3rd. What? But I don't know how to fix awesome. bugs. Awesome. We're testers now. No problem. You'll run into different little eye chans in different story areas. Each has unique abilities to help you explore and fight. The event features three areas, and after you've interacted with all the little eye chans in the current area and cleared the story stage, you will be able to explore the digital space freely. Like in Area 1, for example, Interesting. you can explore with I Chan O and rely on her power to reach otherwise in Okay, so this areas. is kind of reminiscent of a different event that we've gotten. Um, actually, I think it was rebranded recently. You can recently. control I Chan O to get through before using the skill to switch positions with I Chan O. I see. So each area will have plenty of puzzles to solve. And every little I Chan will have different abilities to help explore. They just so happen to be the keys that we need to progress. Skills. Gotcha. Correct and solving puzzles will get you Asterite and advanced skill materials. After clearing the story stage of the current area, you can spend data stamina to play daily repair stages. In daily repair stages, enemies from different areas will have different traits, but the little eye chan of the current area will be there fighting by your side. Cool. Cast the little eye chan skills to deal high damage to enemies and clear the stage with ease. Looks like there are also challenge stages for captains who love breaking limits, right? That's right. These All right, so there's going to be some sort of challenge as well. That's idea. great. After defeating regular enemies, you can take on the stage boss and earn more points by dealing more damage within the time limit. Challenge accepted. After the challenge, you can get token rewards based on points earned. Little I Chan will offer you help too. And did I just hear something about rewards? You were yes, crystals. Love the rewards this time. During the event, you can use these tokens to exchange for Midnight Absence new outfit. Holy crap, dude! You can I gotta have it. 
Can or not be fragments. Energy <laughs> Raven's like one of my more. favorite units ever. Well, I gotta Raven's have it. It looks so uniquely stylish. Oh my god. Is a perfect fit for her. Oh my god. Childish, but the wings and the horns. Not yeah, the that's a must have. Other touches like chains and bandages, that is an absolute an must have. Dude, the friggin' bear. teddy bear you on her really back. The expert, but Raven Holy. isn't the only one getting a new look. There will be an exotic new I gotta outfit have called it. Eternal Dance for Spina Astera. The outfit compliments Rita by bringing out her elegance and glamour. Gonna be a lot of people Both playing uh, Spina Astera. And the starry sky goes very well after I chain drops, right? Celestial motif with colors of white I'm sure they'll have the, you know, their, their uses, their differences, but... Plus, I like it. It's a good design. Inspired by Rita's signature line. This is where stars converge. The outfit's main colors are purple. But and I gotta have that one for uh, Raven. Just saying. Tie it all together. <laughs> and depending on the moves you perform, you'll see different visual effects. Yeah, I, I like the uh, the new battle effects. I'm so excited. It looks cool. Get it. I'm not gonna lie. It looks That's awesome. Outfits, but here's some more good news. During version 6.2 bonus event beating thunder will be available complete four specific missions during the event to get a hersher of thunder character card on the event page now's a great time to start honkai impact third if you haven't will also be available you can top up a certain amount of oh hersher sentience a hersher of sentience rank up stamp stygian nymph rank up stamp or i can use those in addition supply cards ancient willpower and more rewards await you yes after the version 6.2 update, log in to get SP Battlesuit Chrono Navi Fragments, Crystals, and Asterite. And log in during the New Year event to get an emblem. After the version 6.2 update, Pryarm Forging Level Limit will be lowered to 50. This will help make the fight against Honkai a lot easier for cool. new captains. Sick! It's awesome! That's captains a great change! Level 50 and higher can now forge Pryarms. After completing Breakthrough and reaching level 81, you can also increase the prior arm level limit. Weapons can be upgraded to level 65, giving right. them much higher combat power. However, Neat. captains who are level 80 or lower will still be unable to upgrade prior arms. That's unfortunate, but I mean, again, at the same time, you shouldn't be able to get like at least a little bit more of a stat boost from getting the prior arm, right? overhaul of the material system to help simplify things. After the version update, Sakura Shard, Twin Sakura Shard, Sakura Will, Greatsword Blade Piece, Titanium Barrel, and Micro Reactor will be converted to a new material called Fluid Alloy. Okay. And Nano Ceramic and Twin Sakura that Will. That is a will be very converted interesting to a new change. Called Fluid Alloy Block. And Resin Converts, Smelted Core, Gold Pin, and Honkai Cube will be removed. Oh. That's great news. The simplified material system should be much wow, easier to understand Wow, okay. Now. Developing characters and weapons will be a lot more convenient. Now is a great That's time right. to start Honkai Impact 3 if you haven't already. Detailed rules regarding or to dive back into it. We hope these changes will offer a better in-game experience That's for everyone. huge. Captains, that concludes today's program. See you next time. Awesome Bye. changes. I am all for it. Holy crap, dude. That was fantastic. Uh, I'm very much looking forward to 6.2. I'm not going to lie. Anyways, that's going to do it for the reaction. Let me know your own thoughts about 6.2 down in the comments below. And we will discuss. Let me know if you guys are also going to be pulling on the supply for Chrono Navi. Uh, I think she looks absolutely incredible. And I'm going to try my hardest to procure her weapon and incredibly designed Stigmata set. Uh, again, she looks very, very fun to play. I'm still wondering about like what kind of uh, role she's going to play in terms of like buffing your other party members again i don't know if that's gonna be like breach or, or whatever else but uh she looks fun to play so i can't wait to find out anyways that's gonna do it for me so thank you very much for watching really appreciate it i'll see you all for the next one take care peace